my equipment ready to set up here. This is my test tank here and we're going to connect it into my flow cell and we've got a uh, restrictor here so we can do a pressure test. We can uh, simulate the pump uh, being at uh, certain depths below uh, groundwater, below, uh, below water level. Uh, so we're going to put this all together. The first thing we're going to do is set up the generator and uh, get that ready to go. Okay, so everything's uh, connected and ready to go. The last thing we're going to do is uh, plug our power source in. So we'll imagine that the generator is running and we'll plug this in. And power on and it, we're now going to go through a, an initialization process. So now we're done and we're started so we can do right to start the pump so that we'll do that. So off it goes. And I think you can probably hear that gurgling. The pump is now running. Uh, so uh, let's uh, increase the speed, shall we? We'll just wind this up. At max power. Uh, and uh, we can wind this back down again. And we can wind right down. Okay, let's test the, uh, the flow rate and the ability to lift water. So we've got our flow cell here which will indicate litres per minute and we're able to uh, reduce the flow and uh, simulate uh, uh, lift, uh, pressure head lift uh, by this approximately, uh, one bar is approximately 10 litres of head lift uh, from the water surface. So let's give that a go. We'll start the pump up. Uh, and we'll see how it runs. So we've got the tap open, there's no uh, simulated pressure at the moment. And so the pump's running, the tap's fully open at the moment and they're currently we're looking at uh, uh, about uh, 10 or 11 litres a minute and this is uh, near enough at, at zero metres. Um, so let's, uh, do, uh, let's dial up to full uh, noise. Okay, so we're at max power and we're registering uh, about uh, 15 litres a minute. Um, let's see what that looks like. It's a good, nice high flow. Now let's see if we can simulate, um, let's go down to uh, 20 metres below ground level. It's about there. So we're now at 10, lit 10 litres a minute pumping away. And again, see what that looks like, looks pretty good. We'll go down to 30 metres. We're looking at about, uh, about seven or eight, seven and a half litres a minute. Still looking pretty good. Let's dial it up to 40 metres. So that's about five liters a minute. And let's test all the way to 45 meters. Okay, we've lost the indications here, but certainly we're still pumping water up from 45 meters below ground level, so that's good. Okay, let's uh, relieve some of that pressure. Um, okay, we'll open the taps up. Uh, so let's see if we can, uh, we've, we've shown a little bit of variability, let's uh, dial the uh, pump down and see what kind of low flow we can get. Go all the way down to, okay we're now at minimum power, let's have a look. And so we've got a, a relatively low flow going on there. Bearing in mind, of course, we've got the taps open at the moment. This is at uh, one metre. So probably by the time the well, the pump is down to 20, 20 or 30 metres, we'll be able to achieve a much lower flow rate than that. OK, let's have a look at the dry run function. Uh, so in order for the dry run function to be active, we need the uh, set speed to be more than 100. So uh, we're in well option one, let's uh, uh, go up to set up. So we're going to set speed, let's set speed for 110. Uh, okay, 
enable dry run on, yes. Uh, the delay, one minute. And save to well one. Oh, right, yes. Okay, so now we're going to start. And what I've done is I've uh, set the pump up the tank, so the tank is now going to empty into the sink, so we can simulate uh, the well running, running dry. So we're pumping, and now it says dry run on. So I'm now pumping into the sink, so once we've pumped enough water out, it'll go below the um, pump, and that should uh, stop the pump and reset. And there we go. So it stopped the pump and it's going to recommence pumping in 50 seconds. So once that timer counts down, it'll restart the whole cycle and away we can go again.